And welcome back, Spinners and Sharks, to Ace of Vegas. Ace here, and today we are at Mall of America to check out Sea Life and to check out a whole bunch of other things. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. We're gonna get through them all. Let's get this started. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right, delicious lunch. Now I'm on my way to uh, to Sea Life there. We're gonna go ahead and run over this way, but we're gonna do it Sonic style. Let's go. Whew. Okay, you guys didn't believe I could break the sound barrier, all right. So it looks like we're at Sea Life. Let's go ahead and get down the stairs and get this party started. Okay guys, we're heading down to Sea Life immediately. I'm seeing some rays over here, so uh, Steve Irwin need not apply. Dark joke, I know, but hey, there you go. He would have laughed too. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go get some tickets right now. Uh, looks like annual pass, buy tickets, and we'll call her all this direction. But these are bathrooms, so apparently it's just this way. I think they're about $25 for an adult. Yeah, $25.99 for an adult. So we're gonna have a good time here. So if you guys missed our last aquarium trip, we went to Mandalay Bay's aquarium, so it'll be a much better time here. Hey that gang, game on. Let's do the spinners and sharks. We're gonna see some real sharks here. Rangers, ready to bathe the rainforest. I have left some notes for you, Ranger Jenna, okay. So we're going through Ranger Jenna's quest over here. Got freshwater angler fish. And those are right down here. They all look like they're waiting for something. Maybe they expect me to feed them? I don't know. And here we have red bellied piranhas. So, a thing that we learned when we went to Mandalay Bay last time, not sure if you guys remember that one time we went to the shark reef. I'll go ahead and put that in the description box below too. But piranhas are actually scavengers, so, I mean, they're opportunistic predators, so they'll eat whatever. But they don't do that strip a cow to a bone thing in less than 15 seconds. If something's big and alive and comfortably alive, they probably won't attack it, really. They're uh, pretty docile creatures. Surprisingly. And here's something I didn't anticipate. Looks like we got some spectacled caimans right here. We can get right up to them. They are hanging out right up front. I think they were prepared for me. Um, now, they don't look as large as uh, alligators or crocodiles and all that, but they are indeed uh, prepared over here. I caught, I count two of them right now. We might get under the water to see if there are any other ones. I don't think there are. Uh, but yeah, I was not prepared for them to be sitting right here and ready for me. This is uh, already a little more fun than the uh, shark reef was because their golden uh, croc wasn't quite ready for me. So that's okay so here's the thing I didn't know you could do the first time. Close up croc encounters inside. You can actually crawl in there and see about the caimans up close. Let's go. Oh bloody hell. <laughs> He's right there. I'm not sure if I can see him from here. Yep, oof. Wow. He's right there. I can actually get up close. And look at that. Came in, come. Oh, oh lord. Alright, he's coming my way. Might encourage him to come up here a little more. Oh no, I think I scared him. Oh, he's got a fish. Alright, he's got a fish in there. And he's sneaking off with the fish. He thinks I'm another predator. Oh uh, god, my audio must be horrible in there. But he seems to think I'm another predator. So, uh, I will back off, let him eat his fish. Oh wow, look at that. Look at him eat. This is really dope, I wouldn't be able to do this on a weekend. And then we got some more poison dart frogs, just like we had when we went to the uh, Como Town Zoo. But these are a bit smaller and... No, actually, I guess they're about the same size, but they're also blue. Hello, guys. Nice to see you. Good on ya. It looks like we got a little prey on the outside over here, too. And they're interested in what I'm doing, so I'm going to leave them alone now. They're quite poisonous. 
go down the trail. Lovely picture here. Take a quick snap of that. Okay, and now we are in the Sturgeon Lake Tunnel. And it looks like we've got, wow, large sturgeons right here. Man, this is pretty intense. I can't imagine being in here with all these sharks and uh, large catfish and all that. It's a whole different world underwater, isn't it? Got some soft shell turtles in here, red-eared slider turtles, carps, long-nosed gars, alligator gars, and lake sturgeons too. So I believe all these are native to Minnesota. Um, I think we're going to go back and hang out with Ranger Jenna. I was just talking to her a minute ago about the tarantulas and all that. You guys missed that. But we're going to go back for her 2.30 show to go hang out there once we're through the rainforest. So this will be quite lovely. Fish scales. Man, this is quite the cool little tunnel over here. got sturgeons everywhere and they're swimming about. Kind of makes you feel like you can reach out and touch them almost. Like that free willy moment. And now we're going into the wild Amazon. Didn't see any of the turtles unfortunately. Hope there's some, tur some turtles around here. And yeah, we got some more Amazonian fish. And always got to get a shot of my boy Michelangelo up there, Raphael, TMNT, all day, all day. Always Mikey and Raph, they were my favorites. Not sure why. Uh, you guys just missed this guy. He uh, just kind of swam down towards me. I thought he was coming after me. But then he realized that it was uh, closed off. And these turtles up here, I'm telling you, TMNT all day, just surfing. Surf and cowabunga all day. And I think that's a greeny, I think that's a green sea turtle right there. That is huge. Never seen one this close in person over here. I think he's trying to leave. Uh, trying to get a good image of him. Oh, whoa, there goes a shark. Wow, he doesn't give a damn about the sharks. Look at him up there. That's intense. I'm not sure if it cares much for the sharks, I don't know. And that's one big turtle though. Wow, lots of sharks. Very much reminds me of Shark Reef. So majestic. And here's the gentle reminder that there's a Lego, a mini Lego land inside the mall here. Look at that. Look at the craftsmanship on this. Get close. It's brilliant. It's an actual Lego. Intense.
love about this is you get so much closer than you do at uh, Shark Reef in uh, Mandalay Bay. So cool. That just kind of make you wonder, what kind of shark evolves to have a chainsaw on its nose? It makes me think. How does that evolutionary process work? The sawfish over there. Sawtooth shark, I think, is what they're called. And I really want to get close to this one. There he comes. Some rare footage right there. How oh, the teeth work. Look at that. And yeah, they, they, I think those are actual teeth. They look like actual teeth there. They're so pretty. It says they're captive bred, but how do you breed jellyfish? That's a good ass question. How do you breed a jellyfish? I swear they make Legos of everything in here. Look at this. They made a Lego of it. You get to see the real thing over here. I didn't realize how many different types of jellies they have. Jelly so these aren't actual jellyfish. These are just plastic bags, but they look like jellyfish, and this throws uh, jellyfish off. Or throws turtles off, because they think that they're jellyfish. They almost kind of look like jellyfish, though. I was nice. And then we got the fish-eating anemone. Although there are not any fish being eaten right here, they must be regularly fed. Oh man, rays are my favorite part. Just absolutely beautiful. Watch them glide across the uh, the sea floor right there. So they're breaking the breaking the water or not? Oh, it's just amazing. All right, guys. So we got some lunch for the rays over here. Definitely gonna see if I can get close and get some food in for them there. Let's see if they'll actually come eat them. Oh, oh, oh! We got a swarm. We got a swarm. Did he eat that? He ate the shrimp. Oh, he got the shrimp. Look at that. And there goes the fish. I'd like to see if they catch the fish. Let's see, there's one that's coming up real slow, real low down there. Oh, we sensed it. It just kind of sucks it. Oh, no, it took off. It took off. Why did it take off? Oh, yep, there's one. Caught it. And it's gone. <laughs> okay, off we go one more time. I'm going to do this one piece at a time here. First one in. Is that? See if we can get a frenzy going there. Oh, oh, they're swimming around. They're swimming around. Second one in. And let's get the third one in. And see if we can get a swarm going here. Oh, there we go, there we go. They're swarming around. There's an attack. There is a ray attack right there. Going after all the food and they're just jamming. They're just jamming. There's one more fish up there that they're trying to get to. Look at that, that is amazing. It's right below it, right below it. They go in layers apparently. Who's gonna get the fish? Who's gonna get the fish? I think that's the last one left. Because I blew away all the rest of them. Yeah, because they made a, they, they did a little feeding frenzy over there. There was that shark. I thought the shark was gonna get it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, 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 yep, yeah, they got him, they got him. And I th whoa, <laughs> they all took off after that running. That was awesome. Okay, guys, here's our friend Rager Jenna. She's going to show us the meet and greet right here. We're going to get nice and close. All right. Okay. King snake. Oh. Uh, they have a special ability where pit venom actually doesn't 
Where do you find those? Huh? Where do you find those? Uh, they're actually found all over the United States, which is very cool. I don't believe you can find them here in Minnesota. However, mm -hmm. milk snakes are in that same family as pig snakes, and we do have those. Is that a nice detail? Well, I'm going to get them comfortable, and then we'll let you guys touch them. I just asked that since this is his first day out, we're going to go nice and gentle, just try to go one at a time, and just use one or two fingers. All right. Hey, Sandy, Sandy, you think I should uh, should I give him a touch? I gotta give him a touch. All right, all right. That is orders from Ranger, Ranger Sandy. <laughs> Nice. It's really nice. It's got this beautiful coloring yeah. on it. It looks very huggy. He looks very huggy. He's like on that beautiful sitting chair. He's very huggy. Yeah. Nice. So these guys do tend, since they're cold blooded, they'll go to the warmest spot on the person. A lot of times that tends to be your core. Yeah. Armpit, around your body, and your heel. However, with any constrictor, you can never want to put a constrictor around your head. Right, right, Especially yeah. Especially in unknown ones. So I, even I, more I more can see the problem with that. <laughs> and special thanks to my friends, uh, Ranger Jenna and Ranger Sandy, for letting us uh, hang out with Cooper the snake over here. Uh, he's up on the head right now. Cooper, are you up there? Yeah, he is. You can see him right up there. And you are so calm. Look at that. Brilliant, brilliant. All right. So we're going to have this up over here. Base of Vegas signing out. Strong hands. Happy spending, you guys.